Welcome to FFBC for Kids. We're talking about the fruit of the Spirit from Galatians 5 in the Bible. Today, we're talking about the fruit of kindness. Now, kindness can be split into three different parts. There's being friendly, being considerate, and being generous. Let's talk about being friendly first. Oh boy, I am so excited that my birthday is coming. I'm going to have a great party. I will invite everybody. Well, hello, Tiffany. Oh, hello, Betty. A birthday party? Yes. Oh, would you like to come? Of course. I would love to come. I do so ever love birthday parties. Hooray! Oh, 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 oh. Would you happen to need any music? As you may know, my great, 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 great grandfather on my mother's side was Ludwig von Beethoven. And my great, 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 very good great grandfather on my father's side was Johann Sebastian Bach. I'm told genius runs in the family. I'm quite good myself. I could compose something for you since it's your birthday party. That would be great, 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 great. I should get started right away. Great. Hey guys, what you talking about? It uh, wouldn't be Babe Ruth's famous homer now, would it? Of course not. Some of us have a little more sophistication than that. Not everyone's life revolves around running around in circles and swinging bats at everything that moves. What about my birthday piñata? Birthday piñata? Is there a birthday party? Yes, I am having a birthday party. Would you like to? Ah, uh, ah, uh, hello, ah, uh, psst, psst, can we, can we talk? Okay. All right, here's the deal. I don't think you should invite Johnny. Why not? I want to invite everybody. But Johnny is the worst. All he talks about is baseball. He's always carrying that dumb bat around and he's just plain yucky. Tiffany, Jesus was kind to everybody. He doesn't leave anyone out, even those who we think are yucky. Are you sure about that? I think that there are some people even Jesus wouldn't go near. No way. Haven't you heard the story of the 10 lepers? Well, no. I can't recall that one. Well, it's from Luke 17 in the Bible. There were these 10 people sick with leprosy and no one would go near them. But Jesus went to them and was kind to them and healed them. We should be kind and friendly to everyone too, just like Jesus was. So I'm going to invite Johnny to my birthday party. Johnny, hey. would you like to come to my birthday party? Yeah, yeah, sure. You could even take the first swing at the piñata. That would be so great. Awesome. Let's go! A bit of what it means to be friendly. Being considerate is also a part of the fruit of kindness. What does it mean to be considerate? Well, Philippians 2 verses 3 to 4 in the Bible says this, Don't be jealous or proud, but be humble and consider others more important than yourselves. Care about them as much as you care about yourselves. Did you catch that? Being considerate means considering or thinking of other people as more important than ourselves. You can be considerate of other people's needs by holding the door for someone or helping them pick up something that they dropped. It also means listening to other people's opinions instead of always talking over them and sharing yours. 
and also letting someone else get their choice, even if it's not your choice, is a good example of being considerate. Maybe that means letting your brother or sister go first for something, or letting your friend choose what game you play when you get together, or not complaining when your mom or dad chooses something for supper that's not what you would have chosen. All of those things are ways to be considerate of others, which is being kind to them. The best example of this is Jesus. The same passage in Philippians 2 that we read earlier goes on to say this, Think the same way that Christ Jesus thought. Christ was humble. He obeyed God and even died on a cross. Jesus considered the needs of all of us greater than his own needs. He knew that if he didn't die for us, we couldn't be forgiven of our sins. He didn't want to die, but he did so anyways, considering the needs of others above his own. So we need to be friendly and considerate to show the fruit of kindness. And we also need to be generous. And now, a story from the New Testament. All the believers were one in heart and soul. We are family. No one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they shared everything they had. I have lots of pineapples. I have pineapples for everybody. So there were no needy persons among them. Everyone have what they need? Yep. Sure do. You betcha. Joseph, a Levite from Cyprus. Hello. Whom the apostles called Barnabas. Hey there, Barnabas. Howdy, Bonnie. Which means son of encouragement. Hello, apostles. You're doing a mighty fine job. Owned a field. This here is my field. It's a lovely field, my pride and joy. Barnabas knew how kind God had been to him and his family. You know, God has been so kind to us. He's given us so very much. He sure has. We have so much to be thankful for. We sure do. So I think we should give some of it back to God. Good idea. Now, I was thinking about this field. Ah, yes. My pride and joy. It's a lovely field. I think we should sell it. What? And give all the money we get for it to the apostles to help those in need. But, Barney... God has been generous with us. Let's be generous with others. You're right. So Barnabas sold the field that belonged to him. Hey, wanna buy a field? Oh, that's a lovely field. It's my pride and joy. It's a deal! And he brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. Here's some money. You guys are so wise and know how to use the money to help people in need. Thank you, Barnabas. That is very generous of you. You're so encouraging, Barney. The end. Think about it with Pastor Daniel. The fruit of kindness is when God's Spirit helps us to be friendly, considerate, and generous. God's Spirit helps us to be friendly with everyone, whether they talk about baseball too much or they're snobby about classical music, or even if they're just plain yucky. We need to treat everyone friendly, whether they deserve it or not, because God loves them and wants them to know Him. God's Spirit can also help us to be considerate of others. Like we learned in Philippians 2 earlier, Jesus was more considerate of other people's interests than his own, and we need to learn how to be more considerate of others than just always trying to get our own way. And God's Spirit helps us to be generous, too. We can be generous by giving our money to the church or to missionaries or to the poor, but being generous also can mean being generous with our belongings and letting other people borrow our stuff sometimes, or being generous with our time and spending time with people helping them or listening to them or just being with them. All of those things are part of being kind to others, just like Betty and Barnabas were in our stories. Now, you may be thinking, I know some people who aren't Christians, who are pretty friendly and considerate and generous. So how is kindness a fruit of the Spirit? Well, firstly, 
When we're Christians, the Holy Spirit helps us to be friendly and considerate and generous more than we ever could be if we weren't Christians. He even helps us to be kind when we don't think we can be, or with people who it doesn't seem natural to be nice to. When we do those things, though, we know that that's because the Spirit of God is working in us. And secondly, when we're kind, that shows people who Jesus is because His Spirit is at work. He helps us to show kindness, and He helps others to understand and know why we're being kind. It's because Jesus was first kind to us. So for today's Think About It, I want you to think of one way you can be friendly, one way you can be considerate, and one way you can be generous this next week. Be friendly with someone who needs a friend. Be considerate with someone who you know needs a break. And be generous with your belongings or your time or maybe even your money uh, with a person or a cause who you really know needs it in this time. And make sure that you talk about it with your mom or dad. Maybe they could even help you out with your ideas. Then pray that God will help you to show the fruit of kindness. Thanks for watching FFBC for Kids. Come back next week when we talk about the fruit of goodness. Oh, and don't forget to think about it.